go. Lock and loaded, I'm in motion. Pussy soaking in the deli, trying to get the zone out. Headphone broken when they working. Hurt you. What's going on, y'all? I'm Carl Flock, and we're here with another episode of Foreign Concept. I'm here with Wicked West. Tell us a little bit about yourself, bro. Hi, my name is Joe West, aka Wicked West. Uh, I'm from Harlem, New York. West African from Senegal, you know, repping. Oh, um, shit. I started making music about two years ago, you feel me? So I'm um, mm. trying to come up and uh, show the youth exactly for the the voices that mm -hmm. are unheard. I want to be able to, you know, show niggas that. So that's fine. Yeah, Wicked West out here, you heard? How'd you come up with Wicked West, by the way? Was it just given to you? Were you just, did you just nah. fall into it? Or? It started off with, with Joe West. So okay. when I first started that, I was more into like, you know, conscious mm -hmm. rap and like, you know, trying to be like an average Joe. And yeah. And then, when I started to get wicked, yeah. uh, that's when like I realized that I had another side of me where like mm -hmm. I'm really you got on your Shaq shit. Feel me? Uh -huh. My Shaq shit, you feel me? Uh -huh. Shaq West, my boy, we out here, you feel me? Ripping Harlem, but shout out Shaq. yeah, so I got into the, mm -hmm. to wicked. And my manager, shout out Rama, she's the one that okay. really started to you know fire. promote Rama's wicked fire. and put out that that side. Great of me. team, I gotta say, you guys got good a looking. great team, bro. Good looking, good looking, appreciate that. You feel me? Uh, mm -hmm. Rama, she, ever since we met, she we've been I ain't just just pushing it, but she's the mm -hmm. the really the choreographer okay. or the coordinator of Wicked. She, she really pushes that side. She really the brains of bronze. Yeah. She really the okay. That's fire. <laughs> that's fire. So tell me about your last six months, bro. Tell me what My you last six months? Mm -hmm. Shit, last six months. That's January. Mm -hmm. So uh, right before COVID hit, um, yeah. I had got signed to um, Red Models NYC. Okay. Uh, it's a top Congrats, agency. Congrats, by the way. Uh, thank you. Thank you. It's a top mm -hmm. agency in New York. Mm -hmm. uh, it has the likes of um, Baba Joe, Abdullah Niang, Sheck West also was okay. a model for him when he uh, did the Yeezy season three. Okay. So um, that's the thing going on. But when COVID mm -hmm. hit, it really just shut down a lot of things, you know, like yeah. me and Rama, my, um, Team Riot, that's, that's my agency and mm -hmm. uh, she's my manager also with Mel, shout out Mel. Mm -hmm. You know, we've been uh, pushing, you know, um, you know, way more into like FaceTime and like, you know, working, you know, yeah. in, in the conditions that we have right now. So, okay. but like lately, Ever since it hit, Ramadan mm -hmm. hit, you know, started mm -hmm. to get into my spiritual, you know, side and started to like should, really get out of that riders block that I had. Mm -hmm. So, but, and then we got into LA uh, mm -hmm. like two weeks ago. We went there. Okay. Um, we really pushed hard. Like, we, yeah, uh, she was telling um, on her episode, she was here a few weeks ago. She was telling us about um, on our episode that you guys were, you guys really were wild out there. Like, shit. Man, bro, like, it wasn't even an, uh, a planned trip. When, we, when uh -huh. we went out there, we planned it, but it wasn't like everything that, that went on there, it was okay. all spontaneous. So, like, when we went mm -hmm. there, it was just me and her. So, mm -hmm. we had the idea we was gonna go out there and spread. You know, our name brand spread riot, spread wicked. Okay. But we went out there, we um, fell into a group called Four F and F for family and friends. You know, Shit. dope ass people from Sacramento that That's was in LA right. working. Uh -huh. So we just studio time. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Music. Mm -hmm. Met with other artists. You know, mm -hmm. met with Haas. You know, another up and coming mm -hmm. artist from Harlem who's oh, sure. very great. Shout out Haas Irv for me, 16th and 06. So we just really pushed our brand out mm -hmm. there, and we did a lot in them in them two weeks that we were there. Damn, bro. So how would you feel like that shaped your sound or shaped you as a person being in L.A.? Well, it was my first time there, so Jeez. just being a regular person outside of music, I was a terrorist. So yeah. like, it was one of like the first you know, few times I was able mm -hmm. to like get that West Coast feel, you know, yeah. Dr. Dre, Snoop, yeah. you know, them little Calabunga, Rocket Power ass niggas, yeah, you know what bro, I'm saying? Yeah, bro, it's a different vibe, because you out there and you're like, whoa, this is surfer, like, I can surf out here, this is a lot, you feel me, there's sharks out here, this is not New York weather, this is not, you feel me? Like, <laughs> nah, man. I went out there for the weed, bro, I ain't gonna lie, the loud cookies, that you, shit um, had me Originally, you said you were um, from West, West, West Africa? Africa, yeah. I'm okay. from Senegal. Um, my parents, uh, they're from there. I was born and raised in Harlem. Okay. But like, you know, that's my like deep rooted, that's like, you know, okay. culture. That's that's where I'm from. And then that's mm -hmm. where my parents always reminded me to, you know, remember who I am. For me, I'm American, black American, but mm -hmm. I'm also from Senegal. And then that's what they always taught us. But like Sorry. inside our home, mm -hmm. you know, they always remember to, you know, keep us rooted and remember our history so that we know where we're going. So like, that's, that's one of my like biggest like representations, yeah. you know, being from Senegal. That's fire, bro. Because I feel like history, history in itself is something that has to be told. Mm -hmm. You can't let it be forgotten. You can't let it really fade away. And it's good that you know you you stay true to your past. You Absolutely. stay true to your roots. Absolutely. Like you know, you mm -hmm. just can't remember. Like you can't go forward and not know where everything started. You exactly. know. Exactly. And that's why I'm a real like you know like connoisseur of 
history. Like, I want to know exactly, like, you know, how rap started. I want to uh -huh. know exactly who I am because mm -hmm. as we move forward and as we, like, start to break out, like, paradigm and shit, mm -hmm. we start to understand, like, you know, there's different versions of yourself that of you got to get. And then I'm slowly understanding, like, I got to learn more. I got to adapt. I got to get out of the, 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 the old me every five, ten years. As a matter of fact, mm -hmm. every day as I'm bettering myself. So you make you a different person. You feel me? And, yeah. like, now I'm, I'm, I'm really understanding because these past four or five months, like, you, you asked, like, it's been mm -hmm. one of the, the hardest yet, like, you know, like, blessful, like, five months. Like, I've really been yeah. finding myself. I've been understanding, like, you know, my, my family. I've been understanding exactly what I really mm -hmm. want in this life. And, like, now I'm just, I'm just really, like, taking the cool and not rushing and not, you yeah. know, trying to get things fast because I know it's going to come Exactly. Because you know? if you really wait on your blessings and you stay consistent, bro, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, that's the key to success. I swear. Consistency is the best policy. And once people see that you're doing it, they'll respect you way more. I swear. And then whatever comes with, you know, during the time, like, you know, people are not going to understand what you're doing. You know, mm -hmm. the supporters and expectations that you want might mm -hmm. not be there. But all the, yeah. all the, and that's on you. You know, you can't expect nobody to be there for you. But if you're doing it and you're leading yourself to where you need to go, mm -hmm. people are eventually going to follow. And then mm -hmm. that's when belief, that's when inspiration, that's when influence starts to, you know, settle in. And then, mm -hmm. you feel me? Everything is going to settle in once you keep being consistent. And that's what I'm, I, I've always been. I had that fire in me playing yeah. basketball to school to school to, you know, now making music. So, like, now... I'm just trying to like show everybody that yeah, I can do it. You're just trying to you know? channel it, really. Yeah, okay. You know? <laughs> That's fire, bro. For real. So what's what's the next next steps for Wicked? Next step, next mm -hmm. step, I have um, an album that I'm working on called Established 1995. Okay. It's gonna be about you know being raised in Harlem, being a first mm -hmm. generation immigrant, okay. going to school, the transitions, okay. and to also you know show the kids, the good kids yeah. that came out of Harlem, because you know Harlem and just New York in general has that that gritty you know yeah, like that gritty stereotype, the gritty stereotype I feel like. that we have you know yeah. we're like aggressive. When you think of New York, you think of dead ass be my Tim, <laughs> a heavy cup. You feel me? You think of somebody stepping outside. You shit me. You, you, you shit me. You think niggas is about to ass? pop on you, niggas is mad. You don't got no bacon, niggas. egg, and cheese? Yo, pop, what the fuck? You don't got no good fronto? I'm going to beat your ass. Three in the morning, lit that chopped cheese. Is yeah, dead. that chopped cheese is lit. You feel me? <laughs> Dude, you, you teed 3 a.m. You need a chopped cheese. Ock is there for you. Ock is always there, there for, for you. you. I swear, you bro. That's if you're not shit. cool with your deli, then I don't know what you're doing yeah, in New you're York. Doing you better wrong. be you're doing something wrong, bro. two in one with your deli. The niggas got to be your best friend. If you don't know about the manager, that store cat, you don't know about the manager, bro. Then I don't know. I don't, yeah, y'all, y'all not from New York. If that store cat don't fuck with you, <laughs> nobody fuck with, with you. Nobody, nobody secretly, nobody really fucks with you. If the store cat, don't fuck <laughs> you. that's some New York shit. Like nah, facts, facts. Shit. But like, you mm -hmm. feel me? Like it's gritty. So I want to show niggas like the good side of Harlem. I want to show them the kids that was raised right. And there's a lot of kids that was raised right that had mm -hmm. two good parents. A lot of kids, you know, that conscious side, that you yeah. know, happy side. Like that's why, like, Wicked is not. Some, like, you know, the term wicked is like yeah. a wild voodoo taboo thing, but wicked yeah. is like, you know, another side of me where I get to be expressive besides having mm -hmm. to follow order, besides being disciplined, mm -hmm. besides just being, you know, that good kid my parents raised, you know? Yeah, that's good, bro. Nah, damn. yeah. You really, damn, wicked, you really gave us a fucking interview, bro. <laughs> I appreciate you again for nah, stopping for real, by, for real. brother. Thank you, man, thank you. Nah, for thank real. you, bro. Nah, nah that, you that. definitely, you definitely are on our radar, bro. We're going to watch you for the next six Six months to six years, bro. Let's get we it. Let's get it. You, and I'm trying to work with everybody. And when I do get there, because I know I'm going to get there, mm -hmm. and I'm going to dead ass work with everybody and try to build a foundation where everybody that I've met has a connection and, you know, doing something that they want and really fulfilling their agenda. Of so, of course. inshallah, we're going to get there. Inshallah, I'm doing my mm -hmm. best. Inshallah, you're going to be great. Inshallah, you feel me? Everybody is going to be at their best. Everybody and that's what I hope. at their peak, their pinnacle me? of their game. Of inshallah, course, inshallah, you feel me? Shit. <laughs> inshallah, brother. We're going to see you soon, bro. We're going to see you soon. But hopefully, next time you come back, you gonna have a you gonna have you gonna have a Benz for me, bro. You gonna get in this Benz. You gonna have nigga. I need that G5. You feel me? 50 you niggas is cooling with my little blunt to you the side. To the nah. side. <laughs> uh, I'm Carl Flacco. This is Wicked. It's Foreign Concepts, and we out. You heard.